Hi guys, we're here in Montauk, New York. We hear that this place is the surf fishing capital of the U.S. and we're here to see if that's true or not. So this will be a two-part series. We'll have half of our trip this week and the next half next week. Stay tuned for more. So this week we are in Montauk, New York. And for those of you who don't know, Montauk, New York is way out at the tippity tip of Long Island, all the way into the Atlantic Ocean. Why are we here? Well, the surf fishing here is supposedly legendary. I'm talking about 40 pound stripers, 40 pound bluefish being pulled out from the surf here. I'm seeing pictures of surf fishermen standing on the rocks out there, battling the elements, getting destroyed by the waves and pulling up huge fish. And we're here to see if this is true or not. And our journey is going to begin at Polly's Bait Shop. All right guys, so we've looked up one of the best tackle shops around the area and that is Polly's Tackle. Uh, got great reviews on Yelp and this is a great place to start. You don't know what you're doing. Go to a bait store, talk to some locals, they have good advice. I pretty much grew up out here in the surf. I got my first 40 when I was 13 years old. Wow. And there's other guys out there that they go swim the rocks and they'll catch 40s on my and take pictures of them and, and release them, which is a good thing. So we were so. thinking about trying the Lighthouse. The Lighthouse is good, Turtle Cove Turtle is good. Cove. The Lighthouse is, 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 is an incredibly productive area. Um, what kind of fish are running right now? Uh, well, you got the albies in, you got bass, you got blues, there's still fluke going on, sea bass, you know, that's more off the boats. All off the beach? Off the beach, bass and blues mostly. Oh, For the bass, you go going mostly yeah. at night. Yeah. At night? They're, yeah. They're a blast. They're just incredible. You'll be stunned <laughs> how fast they move and how much they bend that rod. So if you really lift up on this, right, you see it bends a little bit deeper. Whoa. It's got a different curve to it, right? Uh huh. So we got some really great info from Mikey at the bait shop. The bait shop was awesome. It was filled with all sorts of toys and lures. Um, but we also got some insight for some good spots, learn about the fish that are running right now, and we heard some really awesome fishing stories. But now it's time to get to the lighthouse and start exploring. So we've spent a couple hours at the lighthouse and we're walking around exploring and we notice something very strange and interesting, which is we see these huge fish washed up on the beach, but not the whole fish, just the decapitated heads. We're talking about like 40 pound striped bass washed up on the shore. I'm seeing dozens and dozens of just dead fish everywhere. To us, it's part of our quest for the legendary fish. We can see these remains of what we're trying to go after, but we can't catch them yet. So I have some theories as to why there's so many dead fish heads on the, on the shore. Um, but I'm wondering, what do you guys think? How do you think that all these fish heads got here? And why do you think they're here? So if you guys would comment below, that'd be awesome. This is a fresh rockfish washed up on the shore. The gills are still really red. The eyes are still glassy. This guy's huge. This, this itself is probably 15, 20 pounds. We saw from the bait shop, like probably 50, 60 pictures of people with fish about this size, if not bigger. 40, 50 pound stripers running on the surf, catching them on top water plugs, on bucktails, tin. It'd be a dream to catch one of these. Mike from the bait store told us to go to the lighthouse to try. Um, and he also recommended to use a bucktail. So here we are at the lighthouse. I've got a bucktail on, hoping to catch a bluefish or a big striper. Um, not really seeing anyone catch anything right now, but I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. It's really funny 
funny about Montauk is these grown men, these old men, will put on these super skin tight wetsuits. I mean, full body, head to toe wetsuits and swim out to the rocks to cast off of them. So you just kind of see a bunch of like slightly overweight middle-aged men walking around in very skin tight head to toe black <laughs> um, and that's what we see throughout the entire shoreline is these people just head to toe skin tight black wetsuits and these big belts with supplies and baits and tackle around their waists and these huge surf rods um, and that's the montauk style i guess <laughs> just found a lobster I see a lot of dead lobsters around here. I didn't know lobsters were here. We're in New England. <laughs> Beats me. I don't like lobster that much. Well, you got a free one. A bunch of birds just flew by and started feeding on little bait fish. And you could just sense that something changed within everyone here on the beach. I mean, right now I'm probably there's probably 15 other fishermen just on the shoreline where I can see. And I mean, everyone started yelling and whooping and wanting them to come in. And then a boat came and scared them off. Hours of no fish. Took a 10 minute break. And this this hit it the second I uh, threw it. Second hit the water. This First fish of the night. Bluefish. Very How's cool. the quality? It's beautiful. Join us next week because I hook into something huge. Oh, that one! I'm serious, it was really big. And we're gonna go out night fishing. We're attempting to follow in the footsteps of a legendary striper fisherman, and we're gonna go out in the full pink moon. Sorry to cut you guys off like that, but that's all the time we have this week. Be sure to stick around, check our channel next week because we'll really be starting to catch some fish. Mm -hmm. If you like what you saw, please do yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel because we post these videos every week.